Hey students, welcome back to one of our last students talks of this school year. And because we're, we're approaching the end of the school year, right, you guys, you guys know you're counting down the individual days to the end of the school year. Um, but because we are ending the near of our school year, it means that summer is just around the corner. And, and for some of us, I mean, like in my head, I'm already like in summer mode. Right, because every once in a while we every once in a while we get a sunny day, and that's enough for me. I'm like, hey, sunny day, it's summer now, and it's here, and I just ignore all the all the mornings whenever it's like 45 degrees. Yeah, as soon as I start mowing, it's summer. Like if I have to, <laughs> okay, when yeah. I have to mow, that means it's the end of winter. It's the beginning of summer. So I get that. that it, I mean, there is spring, but you know, and the bad thing it's short -lived. is, short-lived. Spring yeah. is short-lived in these days. My yeah. my yard really needs to be mowed right now. Like, if you're in Hebron and you are driving past my house, I'm sorry. I will get to it tomorrow. I yeah. just don't have time. If sorry. you've got a mower, you go do it. <laughs> yeah, you care that much. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Please don't mow Joel's. Lawn yeah, don't without, don't touch without him asking. <laughs> yeah. yeah. You can put forks in it or something, but don't mow it. No. Yes. Um, but anyway, because it's summer, or because we're approaching summer. Uh, we want to give you guys all the details that you need about what is happening um, with HSM and MSM with all of Lakeside students this summer. And so that is what our podcast is going to be today. We are giving summer details. So when you get later on in the summer and you go, man, what's, what are they doing in July? I forgot. You can go, oh yeah, that one of those last students talks had all the details. Go look for the title that probably says summer fun or camp or I don't know what we're titling. Summer, this. summer, summer, summer. <laughs> <laughs> Probably not that, but, <laughs> but whatever it's called, you can look back to here to get some details about what's going to happen. We also wanted to give you guys some heads up because there are a few things that you'll need to register for, right? We're going to do some fun stuff um, and some traveling stuff and go downtown in Cincinnati for stuff. So there's some stuff you got to get registered for, got to pay for. Sometimes you got to bring something with you. Um, so this is all of those details wrapped up into one nice students talk video. Yes. Yeah. So um, we are going to begin today um, by starting to talk through our high school calendar. And there is no better place in our high school calendar to start than with CIY Move. Yes. Right? I mean, yeah, it's coming up really quick. Uh, CIY Move is June 14th through the 19th. We are going to meet at Alexa Park Campus, but we're going to be picked up and we're going to go to Anderson University in Anderson, Indiana for an amazing week-long conference. Now, the reason why I call it a conference is because a conference is probably a better description than camp because you're getting together with people, but you're also not in like sweaty cabins where you can feel the moisture from inside. We're going to be in like air-conditioned dorms, treated like sure. a college student yeah. for a week. You're going to have a lot of freedom. Yeah, um, Anderson has a Chick-fil-A on their campus. It's well, like right I around the corner. That's awesome. I didn't know that. I don't know that it'll be open in the summer, but they, they've got one. Well, now everybody's going to sign up. I know. I've overpromised. <laughs> <laughs> so, uh, but that's that's our very first thing coming up this summer. That's June 14th through the 19th. Uh, that is something we're doing all campuses, high school students. So if you're an eighth grader right now, or if you are graduating here in the next two weeks, you're invited. Mm -hmm. If you are a rising freshman or yep. leaving the program and going to your very last event with us, which for some of you, some of you, I have at least one student who will go to camp and then he leaves uh, to go off to the military and oh, never wow. be seen by us again. Jeez. He leaves like four days later or something. That's exciting. But he's that's, going to camp. That's a good way to end it. Tony, we're looking forward to seeing you at camp, buddy. <laughs> hey. <laughs> That's a great way to end it. That's I know, awesome. I know. But um, with all that, the camp comes up in June, but registration deadline is May 17th for that camp. So yes. you want to be sure to get to get uh, registered if you're not already, uh, because after the 17th, we make no guarantees. We may not be able to lock in a spot. But if you can register before the 17th, we can get you there. All right? Um, and if it's after the 17th and you think, man, can I, can I still bring a friend? Can I still whatever? Talk to me or Joel, all right? We will see what we can do. We make absolutely zero guarantees, but we do know that we want every student that, uh, that has an opportunity to go with us to camp this summer. So yep. we, will, we will do all that we can to be sure that you and as many friends as you can possibly bring are all included. Absolutely. Yep. So um, other than camp, right? Camp is, camp is the biggest thing that we've got, the thing that we are most excited about this summer, the thing we most want you to join us for, um, but also in high school. And I'll say now, we're jumping in with the high school stuff. If you're a middle school student and thinking, why do I need to know about all this high school stuff? You can jump farther in this video, right? Yeah, yeah. just we're fast gonna, forward. Right, we're going to roll through all of the high school stuff, and then we're going to roll through all the middle school stuff. So if you jump to like the, I don't know, nine, 10 minute mark right now, you'll probably skip over and be ready for your stuff. Um, but if you're a high school student and you need this information, um, one, one thing that's exciting for you to know is basically the whole summer calendar is going to be together with 
the Hebron campus and yep. Lakeside Park and Taylor Mill students. We're going to do basically the whole summer together as one big group, which you guys know. I mean, it's always more fun together. It right? is. More we're gonna people, be, more fun. Yeah, you're going to meet some new friends. Um, it's just going to just gonna expand what Lakeside students is to you. So super looking forward to that. Um, but the, the, the other uh, kind of cornerstone events of our summer are some opportunities to serve. Yep. Right, and so Joel, you know more about the Master Provision Service Project than I do. What are we doing at Master Provisions on June first? Yes, yeah, so June first, that's a Tuesday night. Uh, we are going to meet at Master Provisions off of Foundation Drive in Erlanger, Kentucky. Uh, that is their warehouse, and we are most likely packing clothes. The reason why I say most likely is because that's what they said. Um, I told them that we're willing to do whatever they need because as a mission partner, things come up that they need done. We are there to serve them, not ourselves. So we're going to show up. That's from six to eight. At Master Visions, find a ride, go with your small group leader, ride with a get a ride with your parent, grab a couple friends. Mm -hmm. uh, if you've never done a Master Provisions service project, they are a lot of fun um, because yeah. one of the fun parts, especially about the clothing pack, is looking through all of these ridiculous clothes <sighs> that people donate. Um, it is a lot of fun. We just did a clothing pack not that long ago at Hebron with our students. Mm -hmm. Uh, it was so much fun. We got so much work done. Uh, so make sure, yeah, you go to that. Uh, that is June 1st from 6 to 8 p.m., but we are meeting at their warehouse in Erlanger. If you just type in Master Provisions on Google, it will give you the directions to their warehouse. It's true. Um, or you can just type in 7725 Fountain Drive, Foundation Drive in Florence, Kentucky. There you go. Type, it into, type it into a GPS if people still had Garmin's or GPS's. Yes. Yeah, absolutely. But You'll that's, get there. Don't worry about it. Yeah. Tell, tell a trusted adult and they'll get you there. Yeah. <laughs> and that is not our only service project for the summer. So for that's high school. That's true. Yeah, we have another thing that we are super excited about this summer, um, which I think is a first for Lakeside students, right? It is. Worked with. Yep. So um, Young Life Capernaum uh, is an organization that's here in northern Kentucky, and they do amazing work. Um, for students with disabilities, right? And so uh, they have weekly meetings, they uh, gather monthly in larger groups, um, but they, similar to us, have summer camps, right? And so this summer, they're gonna have a day camp that's happening um, like four days in July, right? And so we are gonna take an opportunity as a whole group to serve on July 12th and 13th at the Capernaum Day Camp. Um, and so you actually, if you want, when you go to register, it will ask what days you wanna be there. And if you say, you know what, this really feels like my thing, like I want to jump in more, serve the 12th, the 13th, and the 14th, the 15th, right? Yeah. You can um, keep going back even if we aren't going. As yeah, a yeah, yeah. Yep. Even just because Joel and I can't be there, you absolutely can still serve with Capernaum. Um, what you will get to do is um, all of their students there, are, which are their friends, right? Friends is the term they use. Um, and so we will go and be buddies for their friends. So everybody gets somebody um, to hang out with all day long and somebody to kind of make sure that they're going where they're supposed to be. Um, and make sure that they're having a blast while they're doing it. And so we are super excited because we will uh, get this opportunity yet yeah, to jump in this really tangible way um, for this amazing camp that Young Life has been doing um, for years and years and years now. Uh, they got it really figured out. The guy who leads it, Jeremy, is an awesome guy with an amazing heart for his students. Um, and so we want to jump in and serve them however we can. So um, this is one that you'll have to register for so you can go to Lakeside org slash events. Um, if it's not up now, it should be really soon. So you'll be able to register um, and lock in your spot to be able to serve at the Capernaum Day Camp. But yeah, you'll definitely want um, to yeah to be a part of that. Yeah, this you. is one of those like life changing. It's like a, it's gonna be a very small experience, uh, but I think it could be very life changing for some of you. Um, and so you know, sign up for this if you're willing to you know put yourself out there a little bit and do something that's new. Uh, but you're not gonna be alone. Roger and I right. are gonna be there. We're gonna have other leaders yeah. there. Uh, they're going to walk us through each morning what's happening and how to mm -hmm. hang out with them and just how to have a lot of fun because that's the main thing. We talked to Jeremy and the main mm -hmm. thing is just being with them and having fun yeah. with their friends um, and you're going to make some friends. You know, that's that's something I'm, I'm excited about. It's going to be a really, really cool uh, service project. But we're not just doing service projects over the summer. Right. You know, with us right. combining with both Lakeside Park, Taylor Mill, and Hebron, we're also going to be doing some really fun events this summer. Mm -hmm. um, and one of the very first fun events that we're doing this summer is actually like this Sunday, May 16th, Students mm -hmm. Recap. If you haven't watched our special video announcing the event, you can find it. It might have been at the beginning of this video. You might be able to find it later on our YouTube channel. But basically, all students, all campuses are coming here for Students Recap May 16th from 6 mm -hmm. to 8.30. We're going to start off in the parking lot eating some food, playing Gaga Ball, playing Nine Square. Mm -hmm. Then we're going to move inside for an awesome retreat-like session. The reason why I say retreat is for those of you who have gotten to go on a student far retreat. I know that yeah. was like two years ago. Oh. But for those of you that have gotten to go, you know how amazing it is. And that's what we're trying to accomplish 
inside the auditorium that night. And then from yeah. there, we're going to move back to the parking lot, a different part of the parking lot. Mm -hmm. And we are going to just have a ton of fun with paint. Uh, make sure to bring a white shirt, maybe bring a change of clothes. Uh, we'll mm -hmm. have some trash bags here for you to wear to get in your car so mm -hmm. you're not making your parents angry. We'll have some porta potties so you don't come inside and get all the church covered in paint because uh, Roger and I yes. lose our jobs. Please don't get paint in the church. Yeah, don't please get, don't us, get, don't get us fired, please. Um, and so we're really excited about Students Recap. This is an event. Roger and I were just talking about this. This is an event where if you have a friend who you haven't seen at church since the pandemic started, this is the one that you say, hey, get in my car. We're going to church. <laughs> you don't give them an option. Yes. You just... You throw them in the car. You tie... I'm just kidding. Don't, don't kidnap no, no, them. Not, not, not that aggressively. No, <laughs> yes. But... Please uh, take this as an opportunity to say, hey, man, I've missed seeing you at church. This mm -hmm. is a time to get back involved um, because this is going to be an event to remember for sure. Absolutely. Um, and yeah. you know, it's gonna be, there's going to be picturesque moments where mm -hmm. you're going to take pictures of yourself and your friends covered in paint. Yeah. Um, so yeah. make sure that you carve this Sunday night, May 16th, 6 to 8.30, out of your time and make sure that you are there and make sure your closest friends are there. And maybe there's a friend... That you know what they're they're kind of on the this like hey they're kind of asking questions about why you're involved in church or mm -hmm. like why are you going away for a week for camp like that's right. weird you know, this is an opportunity to say hey why don't you come be a part of what we do for just one night and this yeah. will be a very quick snapshot mm -hmm. um, of the experience of student ministry that will hopefully give them an opportunity to say man yeah I want to experience this for a whole week at camp or wow. I want to go to these other events and service projects in the summer. Mm -hmm. um, but make sure you're here May sixteenth. 6 to 8.30 at our Lakeside Park campus. That's 195 Buttermilk Pike, Lakeside Park, Kentucky, for those of you Hebron people who would like to know the address. So, oh, yeah. Um, but yeah, it's going to be an incredible, mm -hmm. incredible night. But that's not the only fun event we're doing. Right. We're doing a couple of others. So, Roger, what's the next fun event for yes. our high school students? The next fun event on our calendar after that is actually going to be the day before CIY move. Whoa. Um, we, I don't know. I know. It would seem like they'd be like too close together, but... We planned it like this, on, on, like on purpose, especially for our students um, who we know are going to move. The day before that, we are going to a Reds game downtown. And so the goal for this is, one, go cheer on the Reds, right? Red legs, we want them to win. They're not as bad as normal. That's true. They're not as bad as normal. They're not good, but they're not as bad as normal. They're, they're, they're 500, so they're yeah, like... we'll take it. They're, they're mediocre. Yes, and sometimes <laughs> mediocre is the goal. Uh, <laughs> yeah. Okay. But if we're worried that they're mediocre, that's why we're going to cheer them on. All right. So on the 13th, uh, we're going to go out, uh, check out a Reds game, um, but also just get to connect with each other, right? Because this is uh, it's one day before most of us, most of the group, um, will leave for camp, and so we want people to, to recognize faces and names and get to know people in a smaller setting, so that when we hop on a bus and then end up in this huge setting. Um, with 700 other people um, away at camp, um, that you guys kind of know each other a little bit, right? Even between the campuses and, and, and that we all uh, yeah, can kind of start to get to know each other. So that's coming up. That's another thing you'll have to register for. So lakeside.org slash events. Um, it's 15 bucks, right? So that is going to cover um, your ticket plus the transportation to get downtown. Um, so really looking forward to it. Yeah, we're going to meet up. Uh, you'll meet at either at Hebron campus um, or here at the Lakeside Park campus um, after church on a Sunday morning. Uh, bus will come pick. Bus will go pick them up. Then we'll drive right on through. Pick us up. We'll all head downtown. Have a great time. Yeah. So uh, be sure to get registered though. That that registration will close the week before. So don't don't waste too much time, um, or else we might have to leave you out. We don't want to leave anybody out. So go ahead and get registered. Um, if again, as with as with everything that we ever do here at Lakeside, if money is the problem, please reach out to one of us. We've got a finance or we've got a form that you can fill out to say, listen, man, fifteen bucks doesn't work for me. And we will figure it out. All right. So please don't let money stand in the way of why you're not going to, to move or anything as big as move and mix or anything as small as a Reds game or a, or a putt putt night that we're going to talk about in a little bit. So yeah, HSM is going to the Reds, uh, which we're psyched about. And so after that, we're actually going to uh, do something that's super exciting for our Taylor Mill folks, because um, you guys maybe haven't been to the Taylor Mill campus in a while, right? We tried to have a bonfire out there and it just got pouring rained on in April. <laughs> Um, but on the 27th, we are going to have what we're calling a night at the mill, right? And so this is to you guys, you guys probably know Taylor Mill has the best outside space of all of our campuses, yep. right? They've got an amazing grass area. They've got um, an awesome Gaga pit installed out there that a bunch of you students worked on. They got they've two got, basketball goals. Yeah, they've got uh, at least one basketball goal. Yeah. I don't know. 
Yeah, so they've got basketball, they've got four square outside, they've got picnic tables, they've got a fire pit, they've got, yeah, all kinds of awesome space out there. So we are going to put that to use um, this summer whenever the weather is even nicer than it currently is. Um, so we're going to go out there, we're going to do like some cookout type of stuff, some just outdoor hangout stuff, a couple of organized games. We'll see what, we'll see what, what we feel like whenever we get there. But yeah, it'll be a, it'll be a good time. Really looking forward to getting out there and enjoying, um, yeah, the, the green space that is uh, Taylor Mill and yeah, putting that, putting that space to use and getting some of you guys back there. So Yeah, and then uh, after that, our, one of our, our next combined fun event for high school is later on in July. Mm -hmm. That's July 25th, so that's the last Sunday of July. We're going to kind of do something similar to the Reds where we're going to meet up kind of after church, but we're going to go to the Cincinnati Zoo. Mm -hmm. um, I know that a lot of you went to the zoo as a kid, maybe even in middle school as a, as a zoo trip, um, mm -hmm. but it's kind of fun to go there as an older student and kind of get to maybe see things you missed when you were a kid. Oh, yeah. um, and so I encourage you to go to this event just as a way to connect with your friends, maybe find a group of friends to go with. Mm -hmm. The transportation is taken care of. Uh, all you got to do is register on our website. Um, and meet up wherever Hebron. That'll be. We'll pick up there first, right after services. We'll get on the bus and we'll come over to Lisa Park, pick them up, go down to the zoo, mm -hmm. and then we'll come back um, just for a few hours. And so it's going to be affordable. So make sure you sign up for that. It's going to be a lot of fun. It's, there, it there sounds are, so simple, but the zoo is awesome. There are a ton of fun things to do at the zoo, right? It's awesome. Fiona the hippo is there. Yes. So you can check out Fiona. They've got bug exhibits. So depending on who you go with, you can bring them with you into the bug they exhibit and watch a, people freak out. They usually have a rep in the reptile area. They usually will have a snake out with a snake handler that they'll right. let you hold or mm -hmm. touch. Uh, which is a lot of fun. So yeah. Oh yeah, the whole zoo, the whole zoo, zoo trip is amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm super looking forward to zoo trip. Um, as with the Reds, you can reg register at lakeside.org slash events um, to make sure you lock in your spot at the zoo. That's going to be 20 bucks, right? Yep. Mm -hmm. Yeah, tickets are a little more expensive. Transportation is the same. So 20 bucks will get you there and back. Have your ticket covered. Um, not a problem. Which is pretty good for an afternoon, right? Yeah, it's not bad. whole afternoon hanging out with uh, hippos and tigers and whatever else they got down there. Yeah, awesome. Yeah. Good time. Um, and so then after that, the last of our summer events um, is a classic. It is a, it is a lakeside classic event especially for high school students um, some of you know it and love it hopefully everyone will soon right um, it is going to be um, our HSM putt putt masters right and so this is uh, of course the it's a, a putt putt tournament that happens right? it, and, and it's been done a couple different ways in the past sometimes it's a tournament with a prize last year in the middle of a pandemic it was just hey come out and play mini golf right so <laughs> it'll, it'll be one or the other um, but yeah, so we're super looking forward to it. It's gonna come, or it's coming up on um, August eighth. And if you're a high school student, we want you to get there um, at six, and you're gonna play from about six to seven thirty. Um, feel free to bring a club with you. They've got a lot of clubs, but all their clubs are like the, I mean, they're the the standard putt putt, putt, -putt golf, golf clubs. Yeah, it's like metal with a little bit of rubber on the end. It's nothing fancy. So feel free to bring your own club if that's what it takes. If you want to get the W when you're out there. Um, and do amazing. Bring your own club with you. Um, bring three bucks cash, all right? You're going to hand it straight to uh, the folks who run Putt-Putt there, and that will be uh, your entry fee uh, to be able to play for the rest of the time that you're there. Yeah, so bring your cash. Uh, bring a club with you. If you don't have a club, that's fine. You're still welcome to come, right? Well, they've got more than enough clubs uh, for people to have, but uh, yeah, and so that is the Putt-Putt Masters that's coming up, and somebody might even win themselves a green jacket if we can figure out how to do scoring in a safe way where you guys can't cheat. Yes. I'm not saying that you guys would cheat, right? Not you watching, but somebody else, an, another high schooler. There's always a cheater. <laughs> and it's so funny because we used to do this where we would do a round and then we'd do like a final round. And mm -hmm. it was obvious, obvious who the cheater was because in that final playoff round, they were so horrible compared mm -hmm. to everybody else. So yep. if you're a cheater, we will find out. And we will make fun of you relentlessly yeah, if you for say, cheating at putt-putt. If you say you got an 18 on 18 holes, if you say you, set, you got a 17 on 18 holes, we will definitely be suspicious. Yes. Anything less than 30, really, we're going to probably question you. Yes. Because nobody gets 10 hole in one. No. That doesn't happen. And it might be an easy course compared to others, but it ain't that easy. It's not that. Well, and, and some of us aren't that good. Yeah, yeah terrible that's really what it is. <sighs> All right, so um, after that for high school, um, we transition out of summer and into fall. So if you're a Lakeside Park or Taylor Mill student, um, as, as things look right now, you will start back up on August 22nd, right? So looking forward to that. Um, it'll be, yeah, August 22nd, um, unless things change between now and then, which in this um, crazy, crazy 
corona world, um, things change. So yeah, but unless, unless something changes, our plan is for us um, to start back here on the 22nd. Yeah. Uh, what so, about Hebrew students? What's yes, the kickoff look like? So we're going to kick off actually after Labor Day, but we're still going to do stuff August 22nd and 29th. So it's just, we're going to come to my house, we're going to do a bonfire. Uh, well, we live in a neighborhood, so it's going to be more like a, a fire pit. Um, so not like a not like an eight foot wide bonfire. No, more like a like a, a you guys two should foot. you guys should write angry letters about that. Uh, I heard him say bonfire. But I will make sure the food is good uh, because I got a new smoker and it's amazing. Ooh. So I will make sure that there's good food. If you'll show up, we'll have s'mores. We'll have fun. That's going to be two Sundays in a row of coming to my house um, and enjoying just time hanging out together. That's August twenty nice. second, 29th. and then we will launch HSM um, at our Hebron campus the week after Labor Day, which is September 12th. Now that's fall calendar. That'll be a whole nother video. That'll be a whole oh, nother yeah. explanation. Um, but that is going to be our HSM kickoff at Hebron, September 12th. And if you're watching this video, I'm just going to go on and tell you we're going to have a crazy huge water balloon fight. Mm. That's a pretty typical tradition that we do. Nice. I will have some type of, of food or dessert paired with an amazing water balloon fight at our Hebron campus. Uh, for our high school students on September 12th. So you're not going to want to miss that. But that's a long way away. Uh, just make sure that you've got the calendar. You give it to your parents. You get it in their iCalendars or they get it in their Google Calendar so they have mm -hmm. notifications. Put it in your calendar so you can be the driver of stick your it faith. On, stick it on the fridge. Stick it on yeah, the fridge. Whatever it takes. Yeah. yeah, absolutely. And then for you high school students, once we get closer to September, you will get a fall calendar as well. Mm -hmm. um, and, you know, we're excited to bring back, I'm going to go on, I mean, we're bringing back the fall retreat. I mean, I yes. can't wait. Oh, it's going to be finally. absolutely awesome. We're going to bring back some some traditional things we've always done, like Christmas parties, Thanksgiving dinners. I mean, mm -hmm. there's going to be so much fun that's happening, new events. Uh, so look forward to it. Uh, hopefully, we are finally moving out of this COVID season and into a more normal. So if yes. you're a high school student, thank you so much for watching. If you want to keep watching, maybe for your little siblings to know what's going on, or if you're a high school student who leads in middle school, mm -hmm. please keep watching the video. But now we're going to kind of transition from our high school summer calendar to our middle school summer calendar. I feel like we need to do something. Hey, yeah. middle school, stop here. <laughs> don't, go, don't go any farther. Stop here. This is where it begins. <laughs> yes. I'm going to put something on the screen, right? Just like a big MSM yeah. right here. I think That's it's good. Yeah. 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 It's, so, middle yeah. schoolers, Welcome to your half of the video. <laughs> if, you, if you have not watched to this point, we're glad that you made it. We're glad that you're here um, to hear about what middle school summer looks like this year. And of course, the biggest and most exciting thing about middle school summer is CIY Mix. This is an amazing conference that happens um, over in Marion, Indiana. Uh, it's going to be four days, five, five days with the last day with the travel day to get back. Um, it's going to be an amazing four-day conference of fun and games. It's going to be amazing um, time spent in worship multiple times a day. It's going to be amazing lessons that are taught by people who know that like, hey, you guys don't want to hear somebody just like sit still in a chair and talk for 40 minutes. Like, yeah, I want to tell you about Jesus today. You guys aren't interested in that kind of a lesson, right? You guys are interested in something that's a lot more engaging, in your face, video content, stuff that's changing more regularly, and they know exactly what you want. So CIY Mix is there that week to help you engage, to help you learn about your faith, and learn, uh, yeah, where your faith is going and what you're, uh, what you're ready to do about it, right? They always talk about being a kingdom worker. And so we would love to, to come back from CIY Mix with as many kingdom workers as we can have that are ready to affect your schools, ready to affect your communities and your families right here in Northern Kentucky. So uh, we're super excited about Mix. Um, and the registration deadline for Mix is coming up real quick, right? It's May 17th. Um, so if you need... Uh, if you haven't registered yet, you need to get on that really soon. Now, if, if it passes May 17th and you go, oh, man, I've got this friend that wants to go, but they just, you know, they just, they just reached out about it. What do I do? Reach out and talk to me and Joel, right? Because we want to do everything we can to make sure that as many students as possible get to experience this mix conference this yeah, summer. Absolutely. So, yeah, so if we can, we, we will do everything that we can. Um, to try to get people in late if we can, if it's possible. But really, there's a good shot that, that, that you need to be in on the 17th if you want to go with us to mix, right? So register early. Be sure that it's knocked out. Um, yeah, and if, uh, if money's a problem, we've said, it, we've said it before, we'll say it again. Um, reach out to us. We don't want, you know, 100 bucks, 200 bucks to, to be the reason that anybody gets left out of something big. Or, or even we don't want $3 to be the reason you're left out of something small, right? Absolutely. We want... We want to be there to help with that. So reach out to either Joel or I. There's a financial 
assistance form online uh, that we'd be happy for your parents to fill out. Um, we want to help in, in whatever way we can. But yeah, Mix is coming. Uh, this summer. Yeah, and Mix is not the only event we're doing combined as both Lakeside Park, Tillamon, and Hebron. Uh, we're actually going to start uh, with our combined events on May 16th. That's this Sunday. Mm -hmm. uh, you've probably, hopefully, already seen the Students Recap video. That's what's happening. It's the name of the event, Students Recap. Mm -hmm. um, it's at our Lakeside Park campus. Uh, so you Hebron students, it means you have to drive 15 minutes. You're used to driving 15 minutes because the reality is if you live in Hebron, everything is 15 to 25 <laughs> minutes away. So I'm yeah, not we, asking you to do anything that you don't already do all yeah, the time. Yeah, we, we are no farther away than Canes is going the other direction. Yeah, and everybody likes Canes. Yeah. And right? you, could just, you could go get Canes on the way here and yes. then still show up at 6. Yes, that's, that's very true. That's an option. Although we will have food here. so That's th true. You can bring me Canes, though. <laughs> yeah, bring no, me Canes. No, we will have food. Don't bring, <laughs> you can always bring me Canes, but don't, this week may not be the week for you. Yes. So we will be... Uh, we will be having an event here at our Lakeside Park campus mm -hmm. uh, from 6 to 8.30 uh, p.m. And what this, what this event is, is it's a chance for us to get together at the end of the school year, kind of have a little bit of a celebration. So we're going to start by hanging out in the parking lot, doing what we always do at student events, right? Mm -hmm. Playing Gaga Ball. Well, we haven't done that in a while. But we're going to bring back Gaga Ooh, Ball. Oh, it's time. And we just got brand new fancy Gaga Ball pits. <laughs> oh, I haven't even shown them to Joel yet, but they're here. Gonna they are in awesome. the building. Yep. And then we also have, uh, we'll have... Bunch of nine square going on. We're going to have cookout, basketball. We're going to be hanging out in the parking lot. Then we're going to go inside for a retreat like session of worship, which means it's going to be high energy. It's going to be fun. Uh, but we're also going to talk about what's happened this, this year and what's happening. What's going to happen, what we're hoping to achieve in our student ministries moving forward. You're going to start hearing this word called kingdom worker, um, and it's a very important word that we're going to talk about a lot moving forward inside student ministry here at Lakeside. So make sure you're here for that. And then after our retreat-like session in the auditorium, we're going to move into our parking lot, and we are going to have a gigantic, epic, best ever, I can't think of any other words, paint war. Uh, we're going to throw paint at each other with specific games like dodgeball, a catch the flag style game, and then just utter chaos, because that's what's, that's what's fun. Oh yeah. Um, oh, yeah. But this is the event to bring your friend to. Like If, you, if you've been waiting, uh, you haven't seen your friend back at church yet, and you're not really sure why, this is the event. Uh, we're going to keep things still safe. Like We're still going to encourage you to wear masks when you're inside the mm -hmm. building. We're still going to encourage you to do social distancing when you're inside. Um, but this is the event where if you've kind of checked out for a while, your student, if you're a parent, you're watching this, your student has checked out for a while, this is the event to bring them back to because we're going to get them all caught up and we're going to tell them all about the awesome stuff we're going to do. Um, and we're going to point them to camp because there's still a little bit of time to sign up. Um, but please make sure if there's an event to go to to kick off the end of the school year, but kick off the summer. Mm -hmm. This event is the one to be at. It's gonna be one where we're gonna have a ton of fun making videos. And we're just gonna have a lot. I cannot wait. It's this Sunday, 6 to 8.30 at our Lakeside Park campus. That's mm -hmm. 195 Buttermilk Pike, Lakeside Park, Kentucky. You can always Google it. Uh, but we would love to see you here. Make sure your small groups come in. Ride with your small group. You know, Do whatever you gotta do. You gotta get yep. here for this event. You cannot miss it whatsoever. But that's not the only combined event we are doing. Um, so Roger, you want to tell them about the next one, which I believe is at the end of June. That yes. Is yeah. So coming up later in June, an event that we're all going to do together is something obvious, or, I mean, that we're really excited about because it's an opportunity to serve all together. So you guys maybe have heard about Master Provisions before. They're a, a, a local ministry that, that Lakeside partners with. Um, they're one of our ministry partners. And so the they do amazing stuff, right? They do, they do awesome stuff right here in Northern Kentucky. They do um, food drives and, and, and feed some hungry folks and, and put clothes on people's backs and do other awesome stuff like that. But they also work with, uh, with organizations across the world, right? They will take like gently used clothes donated from right here in Northern Kentucky and send them all across the world for business opportunities and just for people who don't have um, the, the clothes that they need, right? And so uh, they do amazing work. And so we are actually going to partner with them. We're going to go down to their master provisions facility. Um, it's uh, 7725 Foundation Drive in Florence, Kentucky, um, if you need to find that. Um, and we're going to go down and serve at master provisions, right? It's this amazing opportunity. Uh, we might be packing clothes. We might be doing whatever else they need us to do when we're down there. But we're really excited uh, to be working with master provisions and to be going right into their facility and, and going like boots on the ground, um, putting our hands to work um, to help out those things, especially as middle school students, right? You guys uh, are right near this facility. You, a lot of you live within a pretty good, um, live within a nice little radius of it. So you even can jump in and help out Master Provisions other time of the year, right? Yeah, if, you, if you go here this week and think, man, or the, the time that we're going, and think, man, this is perfect for me, 
I want to do more of this, yeah, then keep jumping in, right? Because Master Provisions does a lot of good work. So we're going there on June 30th uh, from 7 to 9. Um, yeah, and so uh, catch a ride there, however you got to get there, get dropped off there. Um, and uh, yeah, we're really looking forward to it. Joel, I think we have one thing left on our calendar that we're doing all together at yes. the end of the summer. What is it? It is our middle school mini golf open, MSM mini golf open, MSM putt putt masters. Whatever you want to call MSM it. MSM putt putt. MSM um, and mini golf slash putt putt are happening. Yeah, 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 maybe we should make the most ridiculous like long name. Oh, that's true. Yeah, yeah. So, like like the mini golf version of super califragilistic. Blah blah blah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah that'd be fun. But anyway, uh, middle school students, we're gonna be getting together at Erlanger putt putt on August eighth mm -hmm. from six o'clock to seven thirty to play putt-putt. We're hoping to have a tournament, depending on safety conditions and all of that, but we know we're gonna play putt-putt. Uh, bring, if you have a putter, bring it. If you yeah. don't, then just borrow one of theirs. Don't bring a driver, like don't be that guy who's gotta show up. Please, you know? please don't bring a driver. Yeah. You don't need a pitching wedge. Yes. Just a putter is all. Right? Yeah, that's all you If need. you bring anything else, we'll disqualify you. Oh, there you from go. From the tournament that's that might good. not happen. Yeah. Yeah, and if you wear golf gloves, I'm just going to make fun of you, okay? <laughs> yeah, so you won't get you're disqualified. You're not disqualified, but you'll get some funny looks from Joel. Yeah, yes. especially if you wear golf shoes. Like, I'm just going to I'm just gonna make fun of you the whole time. Uh, but oh, anyway, really? I won't. I'm, I'm actually a nice human. Joel's a, Joel's a kind person. He won't make fun of people unless you really go over the top. And yes, then he might, yes. Then we'll see. Um, yeah. Uh, yeah, but anyway, uh, that is going to be a fun event to kind of end our summer with in middle school mm -hmm. ministry. Uh, that is all campuses at Erlinger Putt Putt, 6 to 7.30 on August 8th. Uh, it's only three bucks. Bring your three bucks. You're going to pay the Putt Putt people directly, and then you can get started. Uh, play a couple rounds of uh, Putt Putt Golf, um, and then yeah, it'll we'll be time some, for you to get ready for school. We'll have some snacks out there. It'll be fun. Yeah, absolutely. So we can't wait for that. That's kind of the last combined event. Uh -huh of the summer, when I, when I say the word combined or united, I mean Lakeside Park, Taylor Mill, and Hebron. All together. Um, and yep. so now I'm gonna throw it over to Roger. He's gonna tell you what's happening inside Lakeside Park, Taylor Mill Middle mm -hmm. School for the summer. Yes, I'm gonna hit some, hit some things really quick. Um, the first one is on June 6th, we're having a Nerf Wars, right? You guys are familiar with Nerf Wars. You know what it's all about. You know that it's a blast. We've done them here before at Lakeside Park. You guys have done them before at Taylor Mill. We're doing it all here together. So it's gonna be a lot of stuff in our student center. I'm working out to see if we can even maybe use like the whole building here at Lakeside Park to use like some of the cool downstairs rooms, like the hallways and just do an amazing Nerf War all together. Um, so we'll see what that turns into, but uh, feel free to bring your own gun. Don't worry about bringing bullets. We got a bunch of bullets and really we're not gonna be able to, if you shoot it at somebody, I don't want you to have to like shoot a bullet at somebody and then have to go like run across the hallway and pick yours up so that you keep track of which ones yeah, yours. Yeah, that'd be a nightmare. So we will take care of the bullets. Don't worry about that. Um, but that Nerf Wars is coming up on June 6th at six o'clock uh, right here at the Lakeside Park campus. Um, Another thing coming up later on in the summer is going to be, we're going to do a water day, right? What summer calendar is complete without some kind of water day chaos, right? And so we're doing um, a water day that's going to be on July 18th out at the Taylor Mill campus. Um, they've got that amazing outdoor green space. Um, so we're going to use it. So this is going to be water balloons. This is going to be squirt guns. It's going to be all kinds of ways to beat the heat this July, right? We know July, we know the end of July is going to be a hundred degrees, oh, yeah. right? And so rather than just having to stay inside, bored in the air conditioning all day long, come out on the six, on the 18th from six to 7.30, um, and we're gonna have uh, an amazing water day at the Taylor Mill campus. And then finally, uh, date to talk on your calendar for the for the way off future is unless things change, unless unless Corona rears its ugly head and, and something, else, uh, something else happens. Our plan is for the fall kickoff for Lakeside Park and Taylor Mill um, to be on August 22nd. Um, yeah, so yeah, we're looking forward to seeing you guys there um, and seeing what all that turns into. Um, and that is what Lakeside Park and Taylor Mill students need to know about the rest of your summer calendar outside of our combined stuff. What about Hebron? What does the rest of the summer look like for Hebron Middle School? Yes, so Hebron Middle School is going to kick off on June 2nd on a Wednesday. That means we are switching back to kind of our Wednesday uh, rotation for middle school ministry. Uh, in the summer, we're going to have summer MSM every other week. So June 2nd, June 16th, and then June 30th, we're going to have MSM, but we're, that's the night we're going to Master Provisions. Mm -hmm. uh, we kind of already talked about that. So we're still meeting, but we're going to meet somewhere else um, at Master Provisions. And then we're going to have summer MSM on July 14th at our Hebron campus. Let me double check that. Yeah, July 14th, July 28th, and then in August, 
we will have it on August 11th, and that will be our last summer MSM before we get ready for our massive kickoff event on August 18th. Now, August 18th is your first week back at school, so the plan is you go to school on Wednesday, and then you tell all your friends about this awesome event happening that night at 7 o'clock. We're going to have inflatables, we're going to have prizes, we're going to have Kona. That's kind of our, our three... <laughs> Three successful things to have a kickoff. Can we say that that's the trinity of the MSM kickoff? Yes, that's perfect. Kona, inflatables, and prizes. So yes, all uh, three of together, which make an excellent event. Yeah. So we're going to kick off on the 18th, and then every single Wednesday for the rest of the fall semester, there's going to be MSM at Hebron starting at seven o'clock. There's some other things we're going to announce later on about groups how they're going to function. Well, there, there will be a break or two. Yeah, yeah. Every there's some weeks off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes. But most of the time. Yeah. yeah, like I think Thanksgiving we might not meet. You're not going to meet the day before Thanksgiving? Yeah, probably not. Yeah, you know, um, might sit that one out. But um, we cannot wait to get back into that rhythm at Hebron. You guys know how much fun MSM has been in the past. Um, and so that is summer MSM every other Wednesday starting on June 2nd at our Hebron campus from 7 to 8.30. Uh, usually what we do in the summer, just so you know, is we kind of theme it. So we'll do a night where we do like Kit Kats and, bas or Kit -Kats and Kickball, or we'll do yeah. like... Uh, we, we'll do a lot of fun things like that. Um, cornhole and corn dogs. Yeah, cornhole and corn dogs, stuff we like that. We just did that yes. here the other yeah. day. So it was a good time. You we will ate have a lot fun. of corn dogs. Yeah. We ate a lot of corn dogs. This is just a fun night uh, for you to come for an hour and a half, hang out, maybe bring a couple of your friends, um, just do something fun in the middle of the week, in the middle of the summer, and then that'll get ready for the giant kickoff coming in the fall. Mm -hmm. We'll get back into our routine. Um, so we cannot wait to get started. Uh, it's it's going to be a lot of fun. Just make sure you take this calendar. You give it to your parents. They should have one that's been emailed to them. If they have not gotten right. that yet, they'll mm -hmm. get another one. Trust me, it's going to be in like every email yep. we send. It's, no on, it's there. in all the emails. It'll be in the in the Lakeside Park Taylor Mill lobby. It's in the thing there. We're going to hand them out on the 16th. Yes, you're going to you're going to end up with 10 of these calendars, which yes. is a good thing. Yeah, and so put Share it on with friends. Yeah, put it on your do. fridge. You know, once school gets started, put it on your locker. Um, yeah. That's a long way away, but just. Just make sure you know what's going on because if you if you decide to be a part of what we do, you're going to enjoy it. You're going to have a lot of fun. But not only are you going to have a lot of fun, but you're going to grow in your faith. And and you might not care about that right now, but you should. And that's what we want to teach you. That being a part of church can be fun, but it's also we're a part of church because we want to grow our faith. Um, so come with the expectation to have fun and grow your faith. And if you do that, you're going to enjoy and have a ton of fun. Um, and it's mm -hmm. just going to be a blast. So make sure you're here. Make sure you're coming to Students Recap this Sunday. Make sure you're signed up for Mix. Um, it's going to be a lot of fun. So, yeah. yeah. Yep, yep. All right. Well, that is uh, probably the longest students talk we've ever made. Yeah. Right? Yeah, this, is, uh, this is a little bit of time here. But we appreciate those of you um, who made it all the way to the bitter end. Um, but it was an amazing talk, right, talking about summer. If there's any questions, comments, or concerns, about any of these events, we want uh, we want to be totally open and transparent about what these look like. So feel free, have your parents reach out. Like if they're like, hey, I don't know if we can do this, I don't know if this is safe, feel free to have, have them reach out to us and we will totally clarify expectations, um, costs, uh, anything that we can do um, to help with all of that. All yeah. right, so other than that, um, we will see you guys scattered out across the course of this summer. Um, our students' talks are going to get a little bit more uh, infrequent during the summer so we're not going to do every single week all summer long we're going to do one every once in a while maybe once a month um, but then uh, when the fall semester comes back around there's a good shot you'll see students talk come back yeah, around absolutely. too uh, so we're looking forward to that uh, looking forward to seeing you guys in person um, and I think that's all we got for today yeah all right have an awesome day and an awesome summer we will see you guys soon